one for production, one for dev uh, development uh, in one single region. We chose East US for our region and we created our VNet. Now, in this tutorial, it's basically going to be uh, VNet to VNet peering uh, in Niger. So, as you can see, we have this uh, production VNet, uh, East US VNet production, which is over here, and EUSP subnet 1. Uh, our NSGs, our public IPs, our VM as we designed from the beginning. But when I scroll down, we have another. Uh, we have another VM, uh, and that VM is an ECUS and the same resource group, but that's in the development uh, VNet. We want to connect the two together, but to do that, first find out um, because they are, you know, in that big address space. Can the two of them talk to each other first? So what we're going to do now is let's minimize this, blow it up, and so I want to find out because the whole address space. Um, let's find out what subnet this is. Oh, let's click into this one here and see what ad what address space that is. So it's a 10.0.10.4. Okay. The address space is 10.0.0.16. Let's go back there again and see this VNet. So this VNet is 192.168.0.0.16. So uh, they, are, they are not in the same address space. And so they should not be able to talk to each other. They shouldn't talk to each other. The VM has 1.4, and the other has um, the other has something else. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn the VM on, and we're going to ping the other. Let me just duplicate this, and then we can check. So over here, I'm going to go back to my home, and. This is dev, so let's go prod. And over here, my VM here is 10.0.10.4. So I'm going to go uh, into my VM in here. It's not the best way to get the VM, so let's go over here and just select our VM. Okay. Well, the dev one is running, so let's connect. This is how it is a little easier or quicker. Yeah. So the username is EUS admin. Let's see if we can do something else. Um,
so they don't have any There isn't a remote desktop really, um, apart from the women. Um, SSH. Sometimes it's actually good to run these things in Windows because it's easier, really. Um, but anyhow, um, So it's a, a US admin and so I have color depth issues here, but it doesn't matter. So what what matters is uh, let's go ahead and do uh, what we wanted to do. Let's connect the two together. So, go back and go to Network Watcher. So we're going to connect the two together because they're in different subnets. This is the 192 wants to say this is the 10.0.0.4. Um, we want to connect them together. So to do that, um, I can choose from any, any angle. Um, I made this first, so I'm going to go into this VNet. And you look for something called peerings. And I'll say I want to create a peering between the VNets so they can talk to each other. So. Uh, the name of the peering is EUS VNet Prod Peering to EUS VNet Dev. We're we'll going to EUS VNet Dev, and we're going to reverse that. Except over here, I would have to put but it's nicer when they're all in this, this, this sort of uh, 
case it shows earlier. So let's let's format the test. So it looks neater. get too lazy guys all right so it's uppercase so it doesn't matter uh, so I want to allow both from East US to production to dev uh, East US production to dev and then dev to production yes do I want to um, for forward traffic not at all just on the quick appearing so when I click, click, click on OK so we'll start appearing from East US Dev to Prod and then the other way uh, Prod to Dev. So it's going to create appearings. So it's perfect. Network Watcher. Topology. Then you will see the peering there. So now we have the production and the de and the de and the development uh, linked to each other, and both of them we can talk to each other. And so um, I hope this has helped you. This is in the same region in East US. Uh, in the next one, we're going to connect this. East US to a different uh, um, a different network in a different region and I'll show you how we do that as well it's called global VNet peering so see you on the next one and thanks for viewing a quick recap uh, located this VNet uh, found out the subnet it, it did not overlap the subnet was completely unique and uh, we went into peerings under the VNet and reconfigure the peering for both ways. So traffic going that way and traffic flowing that way. If you want, you can make traffic flow only this way and not none to flow that way. Um, and there might be reasons why you might do that. But uh, thank you uh, uh, for joining us. Um, and in old in the previous video, we had to work on the network security group to be attached to subnet instead of the VM. I've gonna have to do that. Uh, so that works fine. So um, thank you for viewing and I'll see you on the next one.